be looking at today is an experiment to prove Boyle's law. We have an experimental setup over here, relatively simple one. We have some oil which is uh, contained uh, over here that is connected to a foot pump. If we apply pressure onto the foot pump, the oil is going to go up and that's going to trap the gas, um, going to essentially reduce the volume of this gas and hopefully increasing its pressure and that will be proving um, Boyle's law. So um, for our experimental setup over here we have two things to measure, one is the volume, the other one is the pressure. Our first step in performing this experiment would be to slowly increase the pressure. So let's uh, let's write this down over here for our little method over here. So if I was to just write down, step one would be to slowly increase the pressure. The next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to measure two things: the volume and the pressure. So the volume we're going to be measuring with uh, essentially the, uh, the volumetric scale that we have here on the left and the pressure is going to be measured with the pressure gauge. So we're going to measure the volume for different values of the pressure. So essentially what we're going to have is a table of volume against pressure. Now um, it will be very very useful actually to plot in this case to once we have those values what we're going to do is plot a graph of pressure against 1 over the volume. In practice, in order to plot a graph of the pressure against 1 over the volume, we're going to have a table of, table of results which is going to look something like this. We have the pressure, the volume, and 1 over the volume that we're going to be um, uh, that we're going to be recording. So we're going to measure the pressure and the volume. We're going to calculate 1 over the volume so it'll be easier to plot. Uh, once we have plotted that graph, what we'll need to do is draw a line of best fit. And the final comment is actually um, really important in performing this experiment. And that is that if the relationship between P and 1 over V is linear, that means that Boyle's law has been proved. So let's just write this down. So um, if the relationship between the pressure and 1 over the volume is linear. In other words, this pressure is inversely proportional to the, to the volume, uh, then Boyle's law has been proved. And this is, uh, this is quite important. In practice, that means that our final graph will probably look something like this. We have pressure on the uh, on the y-axis and we have 1 over v on the x-axis. Uh, we have some data points, we've drawn the line of best fit and if you remember correctly um, Boyle's law states that pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. So that means that there's some constant k um, which allows you to write it as an, as an expression like, like this. We can apply y equals mx plus c analysis, y is equal to mx plus c. Remember I can always add a zero over on this side and um, even better, rather than k over v, the way I'm going to write Boyle's law is k times 1 over v plus 0. We can see that the pressure is on the y-axis, we can see that uh, 1 over v 
is on the x-axis the line of best fit does go through the origin as well so our gradient is actually going to be that constant so we can see that our results would be consistent with Boyle's law okay folks hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, quick video on the theory behind how we could uh, make an experiment to uh, prove Boyle's law if you did enjoy this or if you found this uh, useful please uh, consider subscribing